Hey, this is Dr. Patrick McCauley, physical therapist with Coastal Integrative Health. Just want to take a few minutes today to talk about total knee replacement surgeries. Total knee replacement surgeries are one of the most common orthopedic surgeries completed nowadays. And I just wanted to go over some information about why people might need the surgery, what's entailed with the surgery itself, and some basic exercises you can complete to help your recovery. The knee is made up of four bones, the femur, tibia, fibula, and patella or kneecap. The bones are connected by ligaments, the anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments, and the medial and lateral collateral ligaments. Inside the knee joint, we have cartilage, and that's where a lot of the deterioration takes place. The cartilage usually serves as a cushioning for the knee joint, but when that wears down, you can get some bone-on-bone -bone wearing, as you can see in the x-ray. It is difficult to say when the exact right time is for someone to consider knee replacement surgery, but some indicators may be if there's chronic knee pain or swelling that's unchanged with medication or injections, if there's moderate to severe pain at rest or at nighttime, if there's knee deformity such as bowing in or out of the knee, and if quality of life is severely impacted, where getting up and down from a chair, climbing stairs, completing household tasks are impacted, that may be a time to consider the joint replacement surgery. During the surgery, an incision is made in the front of the knee. The arthritic deteriorated ends of the femur and tibia are removed. Metal components are placed at the end of the tibia and femur and a plastic component is placed to serve as the joint space. The backside of the patella is often replaced as well. This slide shows the before and after x-ray of a knee replacement patient. Notice the improved joint space and knee alignment after the knee replacement surgery is completed. Getting the knee replaced is one piece of the puzzle. It's essential to complete exercise provided to you by your therapist after surgery. It also is very helpful to complete some of the exercises beforehand. Some of these include quad sets are a great exercise to strengthen the thigh muscle. Place a towel or small pillow behind your knee and tighten the thigh muscle squishing down into the towel or pillow. The straight leg raise is another great exercise to help strengthen the muscles of the hip and the thigh. With this exercise, you want to keep your knee locked and slowly lift the leg up about a foot high from the table and then slowly lower. The short arc quad exercise is a great exercise to strengthen closer to the knee. With this exercise, take a small ball behind the knee and work on bending and straightening the knee fully and slowly return to lower. The wall push-up is a great exercise to strengthen the arms as you will be using them a lot with a walker typically for the first week or two. With this exercise place your hands at shoulder width apart around chest level and slowly lean into the wall and push away. Recovery from a total knee replacement surgery can be a challenging time, but always know that we are here to help, either with questions before surgery and in your recovery after.